Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, November 1st, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi. That was Wolf. We had a little wolf sighting, a little wolf mayhem. And our energy mantra for November 1st is I align my actions with that which empowers me. Talk about working your value to align your actions with something that empowers you. So now whether this is you know, aligning your actions for better health or aligning your actions with how you spend your money um, or so many other things, how you speak, how you think. That is something that's coming up today. There's so many ways we can work with this energy. So, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I got distracted by a wolf. <laughs> um, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Here we are in November. Two months left in 2023. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. What do we have going on today? Well, we have the moon shifting out of Gemini into Cancer. It's not till later in the afternoon. We are building to an interesting opposition. We are building to an opposition between the Sun and Jupiter. And the Sun and Jupiter are both very large entities. So we are sure to feel this opposition coming in, kind of repeating um, the energy that was in that last eclipse, reminding us to work with harmonizing the energies of Scorpio and Taurus. And I had a little brain fart as I was saying that because I was thinking about, I bring this up every so often, I think it's so important to know, that was Joe, in case you heard that. <laughs> There's some of you who have been wishing for that, so. <laughs> anyway, um, the energy of Earth, the energy of Earth, or not the energy, the planet of Earth, uh, astrological wise, is always opposite the sun. So Jupiter and the Earth are conjunct in this configuration that's coming in. And that energy is really I think helping to ground us into this Taurus energy. So again, like replaying those Taurus lessons. Oh, the song is coming into my head. It's such a Scorpio Taurus song. Don't think about all the things you fear. Just be glad to be here. I'm going to say this again. Not everybody looks at the experience of life on this planet as a gift. Um, Many people have many theories on what this planet is, but I have to look at the beauty and the goodness that is here and be like, that is all beautiful, and I'm grateful for that. And that's kind of sinking into that spirit of Taurus. Now we have the sun in Scorpio, and Scorpio is not all bad. Scorpio gets a tough rap. None of it's bad. It has challenges, <laughs> and one of the big challenges of Scorpio is the fear energy. But don't get so bogged down in the fear that you forget to be glad to be here. So thank you to that song. Now, what I really wanted to focus on three and a half minutes in um, is an interesting conjunction or in conjunct that we have going on between Mercury and Chiron. We actually have a fast moving yacht happen um, with the yod, the finger of God, the finger of fate, the neon sign in the sky being like, this is important with Mercury in Scorpio. So what's feeding in is the moon in Gemini, uh, Chiron in Aries, and then it's pointing at the moon or Mercury, Mercury in Scorpio. So this is about getting our thoughts right, empowering our thought energy, kind of like the mantra says. And like I told you, this is something with me, a Mercury in, in Scorpio person, this is something I have been really working very hard on myself. And so I encourage you in this energy to see where your thoughts naturally go. Do your thoughts naturally support your healing? Do your thoughts naturally support your fears? That's where when my thoughts are left untended to, they run to the dark side. <laughs> and I know I'm here and I'm positive because that's what I believe. But there's this unconscious 
that I'm making conscious part of me that runs to the fear, that runs to the dark side. So recognizing when you are not paying attention, what are those tapes running in your head? What are the repeating things saying in your head? And I love that this actually, I was thinking about it when she sent it to me. I was like, I wonder if I can, you know, talk about this on the scope. Um, my neighbor sent me a wonderful mantra from somebody she recently met who is living his best life. I think she said that he's in his 90s. And every day for about 10 minutes, he apparently repeats this mantra. The regenerating, revitalizing energy of God Almighty flows through me like a golden river revitalizing, rejuvenating every atom of my being so that every atom of my being dances to the rhythm of the eternal God. So that might be, you know, a little bit much for anybody, but it's the spirit of that. And beyond that, it's the belief of that, that we can align with. So today is a beautiful day to check in with your thoughts. Notice how supportive, how empowering your thoughts are and see where you can align it. And also take time to notice when those thoughts run off because they sure do. Where do they go to? And tend to those places that need healing within you. And no, you are not alone in that, that everybody that I meet has those debilitating times, but we don't have to live there. Um, and our true self does not live there. So besides this, we also have the moon finishing up in Gemini, which is bound to make it a little talky. And the moon is going to square Venus. The moon is going to square Neptune. Those are early morning aspects, but you may have some triggery energy. You may have some worth stuff come up. In that we actually have Venus at 22 degrees today, that master degree. So watch where you may criticize any lack of imperfection. And again, this may be one of those sneaky little brain portals to look at. Um, moon squaring Neptune, a little foggy, a little confusing. So we've got that. We then have a uh, void, of course, moon and the moon moving into Cancer. And that just may be kind of a more snoozy afternoon. We may have some emotional peaks coming between the sun in Scorpio, moon moving into Cancer, all the Pisces energy is going on. And after the moon moves into Cancer, it will be connecting to Saturn in Pisces. So you may have to be a little beholden, a little responsible to your emotional energies. Remember that emotions help move energies through our body. It's not something to avoid. It's not something to get stuck in either. Basically, we never want to get stuck. We just want to keep moving. We just want to stay in our own little flow. So, um, what are we doing? Ooh, we are doing this. We are traveling. We are dropping off some baggage, some baggage that is keeping us away from our most aligned, innocent, I love when it catches the light like that, our innocent light-filled self. See that light catching it? 100% right there. Um, we're moving away from the shoulds. We've got the uh, conditioning card. That might be where your mind runs to is a lot of the conditioning that you've been trained into. But don't think about all the things you fear. The ordinary this card, just be glad to be here. Find that. Find the magic. Find the glimmers. Find those good little pieces that remind you of what a gift what a gift you are, what a gift life is. So there's that for today. <laughs> you can book a reading. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. Have the power. And remember who you are. Namaste. Namaste.